Hey, welcome back to Gilroy How To's. Guys, I missed you. It's been a while. But today, we're going to talk about keyframing. And if you don't know what keyframing is, keyframing is the process of assigning a specific parameter value to an object at a specific point in time. For example, you might want a clip to be scaled to fill the screen exactly at five seconds into your project. What I have on screen is a video clip of me flying back from Los Angeles. I, I just thought that was a really cool clip. And, and I thought the easiest way to demonstrate a keyframe would be using the custom text. And you can find that over here, just click the T. And if you see all custom is right down there, custom text, boom. It doesn't have any build in or out values. It's just, it's just text, it doesn't do anything. So we can keyframe that ourselves. So let's put in some kind of, I don't know, this is how you keyframe. Perfect. Now, the tab in the inspector that we want to mess with is video. Okay. So basically, if you look down below, our timeline says that the text lasts just as long as the video. And it doesn't move. It doesn't do anything, actually. So let's keyframe some animations here. We want to go to video. okay? And there's a couple ways you can do this. The easy way would be to click your text clip and what we want to do is come over here to this little guy to transform click that and we're gonna you see this up here is the keyframe this little di diamond with the plus sign that's the add keyframe icon anywhere you see just that little diamond like over here to the right if you hover over these properties you can see those diamonds those diamonds represent keyframes okay and we can keyframe the position individually, the rotation individually, scale, all that stuff you can do individually. Or you can do a global, say we have transform, you see how this whole section is transform? You can do a whole global keyframe and just add a keyframe there and you'll notice all these turned yellow over here on the right. That means we have a beginning keyframe for all of that. So let's say for the beginning, we want this to be right off the edge of the screen. So let's drag it all the way over. And we want to move our playhead. And we're not being precise here. Let's just move it forward. And we're going to hit the plus sign again. We're going to add another keyframe. And now, if we move, let me, uh, let me dial out a little bit. If we move that text frame back in, first of all, you're going to notice that something's different. You have the arrow at your starting position, and now we're dragging, and it has this red line. Basically, that's going to be our motion path. Okay, So we've keyframed, and this is a good way to go back and forth. If you hit this blue arrow, it takes you back. It takes the playhead back to your initial keyframe or any keyframe before that. And if you hit the blue arrow on the right side, that takes you to the next keyframe. So previous keyframe, next keyframe, and bada boom, bada bing. That's a good way to keep, uh, keep tabs on where your keyframes are. All right, so if we take it to the beginning and play back, you basically see just the text very smoothly slide in from the left to the right and stay on screen. And it does that because we haven't made a keyframe for it to go anywhere. It's just going to stay there. And stay there. But I'll show you a trick. Say we wanted it to slide in. And then we want it to stay there for a minute. And then we want it to keep sliding out the way it came in. This is... this is It, it can, be, can be tricky figuring that part out, but I can show you the easy way. Let's go back to our last keyframe and 
so basically we have this is going to hold that position until we make a new keyframe. What we want to do is we want to go forward a step. So just use your right arrow and go forward one frame. We're going to add a new keyframe. Then what we'll do is we'll go, we'll take the playhead all the way down towards the end. We want it to be there. Okay, we're going to add a keyframe and then Use your arrow, one step forward, add another keyframe. And this is where we'll start our, we'll call it the slide out. So let's move the playhead forward just a few more frames. And then we're going to make our final keyframe. So now for our final keyframe, we want our text to end up off the side of the screen. Boom, just like that and really it's that easy since we added the last keyframe we now know that between the second to last keyframe and the last keyframe it's going to take that long for the text to slide out so let's take it back and hit play and see what we got okay cool cool it stayed there it's staying there it's going to keep staying there Coming up on a keyframe. And she slides out. Boom. Now this is the most basic, primitive form of keyframing that I could possibly show you. You can change the properties over time for effects, for audio levels, for text, for generators. Pretty much anything that has a keyframe icon beside it you can change its properties over time so keep an eye out for those keyframe icons and you know I hope that help I hope this I hope this lesson helped you learn a little bit more about keyframing everyone I think every one of you follow my channel my vlog channel so if you're here for the giveaway make sure you leave a really cool clever positive creative comment down below and you will score yourself the Meze Deco 2 headphones they're really nice headphones. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description of this video as well, just so you guys can go check out the website. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you back here next time. Going, going,